Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Neil. I'm psyched because today we get to watch the next episode of Lost. This will be season one, episode eight. This one's called Confidence Man. Hey guys, a uh, quick note before we get into this reaction video. Just a heads up for all you Lost fans out there. I will be changing up my release schedule for my Lost reactions. We're going from a Tuesday and Thursday schedule to a Monday and Thursday schedule. I feel like this is a better way to spread things out across the week. And it also gives all of you guys one more thing to look forward to on an otherwise crummy Monday morning. Thank you guys so much and let's get on to the reaction video. Cheers. Let's talk a little bit about secrets. I've sort of been keeping track of the major secrets that have come out so far since episode one. There's the fact that 16 years ago there were survivors of another accident on the island. They've got the repeating uh, SOS message. Um, they've never got rescued. The only people that know that are what some of you are calling the trust circle. Um, those who discussed it around the fire on the way back down. So that's Saeed, Kate, uh, Sawyer, Boone, Shannon, and Charlie. And Kate has also told Jack about that. So those seven know about the the pre the 16 year ago accident. Nobody else knows about that. Um, the secret that Kate was the prisoner. We still don't know what she did, but only two people know that she was being escorted by a marshal. That's Jack and Hurley. The secret that Sun speaks English. As far as we know, only Michael knows that. Um, the fact that Charlie's a heroin addict. This is a lesser one and maybe more people might suspect it, but the only ones that we know for sure know it are Jack and Locke. Charlie's spoken to, to both of them about it. And I wonder whether Shannon might know too, because she walked right up on him as he was about to go into his stash and she may have seen something, although she may not have been paying enough attention to really realize what was going on. And finally, maybe the biggest secret of all, Locke was a paraplegic until the crash. And as far as I can tell, the only person who might know that is Walt. Because we don't know for sure that Locke told him, but Locke, when they were playing backgammon, did ask my, uh, did ask Walt if he wanted to know a secret. I would imagine Walt said yes. When Walt and Michael were talking about that later, Walt let Michael assume that all the, the, the whole conversation was just that there was a miracle, and that miracle was that they survived the plane crash. But I wouldn't be surprised if Walt knows Locke's secret. And I'm sure there are more secrets to come out in future episodes. Let's find out who knows what at the end of season one. I really liked last episode. We got to learn more about Charlie and his whole backstory. I like how much time they're spending in flashbacks early on so that we get to know these characters for what they were before the crash because a, a major trauma changes characters. And it's hard to know what changes have happened unless you know what they were like beforehand. We're only seeing them post-crash. So by seeing them pre-crash, we really get to see, we, we, we better define what journey they are, they've already made and what journey they continue to make post-crash. So yeah, I, I really like learning a lot more about Charlie. I do wonder, now that he has thrown away his stash, how much longer he's going to be dealing with withdrawal. Is that going to be an ongoing thing for much of the season or is it going to be gone in a day or two? You know, it is network television, so these things tend not to be drawn out too long. And I'm very curious about the title of this coming episode. It's called Confidence Man. And the list of characters that haven't had flashbacks yet is dwindling and the title makes me think this might finally be the Sawyer episode. And aside from Locke, Sawyer is the most fascinating character to me just because we don't know anything about him. All we know is what 
he's projecting on the island. You know, this this cocky country, a bit of a hick, you know, but certainly confident, which would fit with confidence man. So I, I'm curious to see what what his story is, why he was in Australia. Is this the real Sawyer or is he using the crash as an opportunity to change personality, change persona? You know, I remember when I went off to university for the first time, I made a conscious effort to change myself, use, use that transition as a, a time to change. And I could see characters using a, a crash for the exact same purpose. You know, it's like, okay, we're stuck here with a bunch of people who don't know me. I can be whoever I want right now. Kate is doing that to some degree. She is adopting the personality of not a prisoner. And so I'm sure others will be doing the same. I have a hunch this is about Sawyer. We'll find out. I might be completely off base, but let's watch episode eight of season one of Lost. This one's called Confidence Man. Is that Watership? Yeah, that's Jack's stuff. I oh, know, no, no. Sorry, that's Sawyer's stuff. Hell of a book. He's naked. Oh shit. Damn it. Whoa. Fallen. What is. You weren't exactly supposed to see that. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't feel good about her survival chances. Is he a criminal? Just uh, everything's setting up that he's a criminal, but I feel like there's going to be a twist. What are you doing in my stuff, son? This is gonna hurt. Okay, so Saeed at least is okay. Whoever hit me came from behind. They destroyed the equipment? Yes. Oh, man. We need some help over here! Oh, did Sawyer mess him up? What happened? Sawyer beat Sawyer. me up. See, I think we're supposed to think somehow Sawyer hit Saeed, but I don't see how he did it logistically because he had just set off the the bottle rocket. Man, Claire's got to pop any one of these minutes. He just jumped me, man. Why? You were in his stash. Shannon has asthma. She had an inhaler. She just she sneaks hits when no one's looking. Ran out a couple of days ago. But I had four refills, which should have been enough for a couple months. But today I see that jackass reading Watership down. If he has my book, he has my luggage. If he has the luggage, he has the inhalers. Oh, okay. He's definitely attached to that book, isn't it? Like, they're not hiding the Watership down thing at all. That's not subtle. So we got a pregnant woman. We got someone with asthma. Where is it? Your girl's asthma medicine. You attacked a kid for trying to help his sick sister. No, I whooped a thief because he was going through my stuff. And a man's got a right to protect his property. There's an oil mining operation in the Gulf of Mexico. Drilling platforms. $300,000 buys you one share. You got 140. There's another option. Yeah, what's that? That I give you the 160,000. Oh man, this is his con. This is totally his con. Scare up 160,000 bucks. My husband. We're not savages, Kate. Not yet. Yeah, this feels this is going all Lord of the Flies. What makes you think he's going to listen to you? He says we have a connection. <laughs> Do you? Please. <laughs> Jack's jealous. I don't buy it. Buy what? The act. Try too hard, Sawyer. I ask you to help a woman who can't breathe, and you want me to kiss you? <sighs> Nobody's that disgusting. Seen you, you know. Seen me what? With that piece of paper, one you keep in your pocket. Seen the expression on your face when you read it. Yeah, that letter. It means something to you. Want to know what kind of human being I am? 
read it out loud. Oh, fascinating. He's not proud of it. Whatever it is. Dear Mr. Sawyer, you had sex with my mother. And then you stole my dad's money all away. So he got angry. And he killed my mother. Ouch. And then he killed himself, too. Now about that kiss. I didn't think so. Well, he's definitely the bad boy of the island. So what was he doing in Australia? Locke, where were you last night? Well, I'm afraid the only witness to my whereabouts is the boar that I was skinning for our dinner. Whoever attacked you has a reason for not wanting to get off the island. Maybe someone who is profiting from our current circumstances. Yeah, or someone who's afraid if they leave the island, they're going to become paraplegic again. And from what I've seen, you and Mr. Sawyer share a certain animosity. No, he has an alibi. He couldn't have had the time to go Unless from... Unless he found a way to time delay the fuse on his rocket. Could have, but I still think Locke did it. I feel like Locke's manipulating here. Give me the inhalers. Now. Hell, yeah. when are you going to stop asking nice? Well, it's about time, cowboy. Didn't think you had it in you. I want to know what Jack was doing. Like, he's been trained as a doctor, but I'm not sure he was actually practicing when he went to go get his dad. That all you got. Sawyer wants to be punished right now. So there's at least three criminals on the island. I'm assuming Jin is doing criminal work for Son's dad. There's obviously Kate, who is being returned to the States, and Sawyer. Warm, fluffy towns. Your turn. Ah. Uh, Things they miss? Banoffee pie. Mm. <laughs> Is food the only thing that you miss? You're pregnant. I mean, do you not crave anything? I'm the only Australian who loves peanut butter. <laughs> I can get you peanut butter. And when I get you peanut butter, you have to vacate this sandy shore of depression and move to the caves. Deal. She wants her peanut butter. <laughs> Help! She's not breathing! Shannon, listen to me. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> but we can fight this together, okay? <laughs> Nod your head, Shannon. Good. <laughs> Breathe in through the nose, slowly. No, 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 no. In through the nose like this. You can do this, Shannon. You can do it. In through the nose. Man, I can't. Like, Jack is so compelling. I'm doing what he's telling me to do. In through the nose. Man, this right. is intense. Just keep doing that. Wow, man. That was awesome. Right? Jack! What's, uh... What will happen if she doesn't get the medicine? I served five years in the Republican Guard. Just give me ten minutes with him. He'll give us the medicine. Yeah. Don't go that far. Don't go that far. Is that a yes? It's a, I wish I didn't know. Yes. Oh, man. Sorry, man. No peanut butter, no peanuts, no nothing. Yeah, but... I bet Sawyer's still got some I mean, peanuts, nothing. right? Whoa. All I need is a bag of peanuts. I have no food, all right? And for the record, I'm down a notch in my belt. Oh. I'm a big guy. It's going to be a while before you're going to want to give me a piggyback ride, okay? <laughs> Sorry. He's got a lot of Sorry. weight to lose. That was bad for him. I <laughs> uh, like the comic moments. The show needs them. The sick girl. I think I can help her. How? I mean, you don't you don't just carry asthma med inhalers all around if you don't have it yourself. What are you doing? Going savage. Jack, if you do this. Are they going to waterboard them, or are they going to, like, start cutting off fingers? Well, ain't you the brave one? It doesn't have to be this way. Yeah, it does. Why? Do you want to punish yourself, or...? Oh, man, this is getting dark. You're giving up something by doing this. No wonder we kicked your ass in the gulf. 
Just do it, Sawyer. Come on, man. What is it? Only person I'll tell. This Kate. Yes, sir. I know a thing or two about making people suffer. Now you have my money, plus 50% by noon tomorrow. Or I'll tell you all about it. I wonder what he was doing in Australia. Just on the run from uh, bad debts? So I'm here. Where is it? Happy to tell you. As soon as I get that kiss. Ugh, jeez. What? He's Are still going serious? for that. Just not seeing the big picture here, Freckles. You really gonna let that girl suffocate? Because you can't bring yourself to give me one little kiss. Ugh, man. He's very charismatic, but I can't decide whether I... Like, how much I hate him. Fascinating character, though. You don't have to open mouth it, Kate. She was getting into that. Where is it? I don't have it. He did all that what? just to get it. Just to get a kiss. Medicine. I swear I don't have it. I don't have it. Never did. Went a drink with the rest of them. What a <laughs> ball. He's lying. Can't you see that? He's been lying from the beginning. He destroyed the transceiver. No. You don't know that. No. Hold, hold them back. This is, this is Locke doing this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he hit an artery. Keep still, damn it. Tourniquet, that Faith, fast. I need my stuff in the caves. My leather backpack. Go! You went after Sawyer, you didn't even tell me? She's my sister. Boone. Don't leave me alone, okay? Yeah, Boone, stay with your sister. You're not you're not ready to get involved in this. They're so different, Boone and Shannon, but they got this crazy tight bond. Table to turn. He wants to die. It, it, that letter tore him up, and he wants to die. Looks like we're in the oil business. We're cool. Oh, we're cool. Hi, baby. What are you doing up? Uh, this is the kid's letter, obviously. The kid that wrote the letter. Deals off, forget it. What are you doing? Hold on, what is this, a joke? Calling it off, walking away. That we were what he said, what'd he say, Jessica? So, wait, he walked away from it? He walked away from the deal and they still killed them? Husband still killed her and then killed himself? I am confused. Why? They've got all the money and more. I've been trying to figure out why you beat up Boone instead of just telling him you didn't have his sister's medication. The thing that I keep coming back around to is that you want to be hated. America's Bicentennial, Knoxville, Tennessee. You wrote it yourself. You're just a kid. Oh. Eight, maybe nine years old. This letter wasn't written to you. You wrote this letter. That's what happened to his parents. Oh, and that kid just reminded not him. Sawyer, is it? it was a confidence man. And then you became one too. He became the man that killed his parents. So was he just hiding laying low in Australia? Since he owed that guy all that money? I don't know. It's like some miracle. She just showed up with that. Is mixture. it like eucalyptus she or something? Chest, Ten minutes later, she was breathing. Eucalyptus. <laughs> Thank you. Very much. Well, that the balance of power in that relationship's changing a little, isn't it? They don't have to follow cultural norms quite so much anymore. You didn't. Peanut butter? How? No way! Just like you ordered. There is one thing. It's not peanut butter. It's extra smooth. It's empty. What? No. No. <laughs> extra smooth. It's the best bloody peanut butter I've ever tasted. <laughs> 
Uh, good for Charlie. He needs a Claire. I can't stay here. Where are you going? What? I'm leaving. I don't know Where for you? how long. Say, don't you go can't... on a walkabout. We still don't know what's out there. I've worse things to fear than what's in the jungle. Someone has to walk the shore and map the island. Let's see what else there is. You're gonna be a cartographer, Saeed? I hope we meet again. Wow, that's a that's a a good buy. Like so are we gonna be without Saeed for a few episodes? Are they writing him out? It looks like the beach community's uh falling apart. Claire's going to the cave, Saeed's leaving. But Kate and Sawyer are getting closer. Time to burn the letter. Nope. Can hang on to it a little longer. So we have no idea what Sawyer's real name is. And there goes Saeed off into the sunset. Huh. Obviously this was a Sawyer episode. We got to find out his backstory, and I like that twist at the end, that the letter wasn't to him, and that he had ruined another family's life, but that someone had ruined his life, and he's been looking for closure or redemption or justice for that for forever. And of course, the, the terrible irony is that he's become exactly the kind of man that destroyed his own family. And the trigger was seeing that kid and that's what made him back out of the deal. And I presume that's also what made him run to Australia. Uh, that, that guy in the pool hall is keen to, to make him pay for $240,000. So, Sawyer isn't his real name. I doubt we'll ever know it. I suspect we'll always just call him Sawyer. He doesn't want Kate's pity. But he's a messed up guy, you know? He's still an asshole. Let's let's not let's not you know sugarcoat this too much. He's still a real dick and uh, did some terrible things, but a lot of it's out of self self loathing. I think um, he wants to be punished. He wants to be killed. He doesn't feel he deserves to live. You know, maybe I'm putting a few words in his mouth, but uh, you you definitely get that sense that his mask is not the same as his heart. There's there's a there's a real difference there between what he's feeling inside and and how he portrays himself to everybody. The way the way the, the social dynamics of all the survivors are going, you know, and this is hardly a major um, issue in the grand scheme of things, but you can definitely tell that Kate and Sawyer at this point almost seems to be more likely a thing to happen than Kate and Jack. Um, there's fewer and fewer people on the beach. Now, now Kate knows Sawyer's secret. And, and that, that's the weird thing. When you put all these strangers into a group environment, everybody has, everybody has secrets because nobody knows anything about anybody else. So everyone gets to choose what they share and what they don't. And if they do have secrets, they get to choose who gets to know them. You know, it was big for Kate to break the trust circle and tell Jack about the 16-year survivors. And it was big of Sawyer to tell Kate about his messed up past. You know, this is how we earn trust with each other, by, by sharing secrets. But it's also how we form distrust, by not sharing secrets. And, you know, it'll be very interesting to see see how this evolves over the rest of the season. We're eight episodes in, so we're about a third of the way through season one. I'm curious when they found out on Lost when they were going to get picked up for season two. I wonder whether they were still filming season one or whether they didn't know until the season was over. Usually shows find out they're getting picked up in March, so episodes are still airing but and, and being filmed, but that's not always the case. Sometimes shows are late pickups. It, it'll be interesting to see whether the writers are angling towards a, a season one conclusion um, that kind of maybe doesn't tie up everything, but ties up a bunch of stuff so that if it stood alone as a, a one season TV show, it it wouldn't just leave everything hanging out in the open. So I'm, I'm curious to see how resolved 
things are at the end of season one. I like that we're learning about new characters every episode. I feel like of the major ones, it's, it's really only like Boone, Shannon, and Hurley, and Claire that we still really know very little about. So I assume they'll be coming up soon. But I also feel like we might start doubling up and going into backstory. Like we've already had, well, I guess we've only had one Jack flashback. I can correct myself. But I feel like we could go back into more backstory with with Jack or Kate or Locke. There's obviously more story to be told with all these characters. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited. Thank you guys so much for, uh, for following along. I really appreciate all the feedback. So subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any. And take care, stay healthy. We'll see you soon. Cheers.